I don't know why I can't post in the Discord. It's annoying. Okay, hopefully. <laughs> Hi, Jazzy Bell. Okay, hopefully, I don't know. Where is this? Oh. So oily looking. Just using some extra powder. Or some old powder, whatever. Whatever the word is. So the viewpoint really looks a little bit different because um, I forgot to charge my iPad last time. Last time we talked. How am I feeling? I'm feeling okay. I'm a little bit stressed right now. But he said I. He said I. What am I looking for? So my knee has gotten worse, y'all. I did get my hair cut. She cut it way too short. Oh, hold on. I left one of my crystals in my boob. Sorry. I had to put some in my bra to carry them downstairs. I just felt it. <laughs> um, yeah, she cut it. Look at how high in the back she went. Like... Look like a boy in the back. Yeah. But that's all right. My hair grows really fast. So that's all right. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Let's see. More likes can attract viewers. Keep it up. Ooh, keep tapping the screen, y'all. Ghost and Glam has more than... Has more likes than Upkept Kisses, and there's about four times as many people. I just called you out. I know gender doesn't have, hair doesn't have a gender. You know what I mean? I got this cool book at um, Goodwill today. <laughs> um, I called my doctor today about my knee and she's sending me to a specialist. So we just got to wait and see. Why oh, do I look so much brighter over here? My thumb hurts. <laughs> um, do I have a filter on here? None. I'm confused. Brew. None. None. Oh. oh. None. No filters. I, why am I so bright over here? I don't know. I just said to know, y'all. There's a light within that makes it brighter. I quit. That's fine. Um, yeah, we just started. Do I set my timer? Some of them. Well, it'll only be a few minutes off anyway. My brace is stuck. Um, so... Um, it's called Zab Mondo is this book that I was talking about that I got today at Goodwill. And um, I think it'll be super fun just for like the beginnings, like to start conversation while we're waiting for people to come on. 
before we do our white light. So it's like the outrageous book of bizarre choices contains shocking content meant to inspire hilarious discussions. The questions inside may be nauseating, heinous, or disturbing. So the questions are like, where's the first one? Okay, would you rather chew on a wild rat's severed tail for half an hour or thoroughly brush your teeth with a toothbrush from a prison's community toothbrush bowl? I don't know. So would you rather chew on a wild rat's severed tail for half hour or thoroughly brush your teeth with a toothbrush from a prison's community toothbrush bowl. The toothbrush. <laughs> I think I would have to say the toothbrush too. Because at least I could like uh, mouthwash after it, I guess. I don't know. Uh, and, and then it has like a little fact. Okay. So <laughs> the tail, oh, you would deep fry the tail. <laughs> uh, it's so funny. So in the 1300 rats carrying deadly fleas on their tails behind their ears all over brought the black plague to Europe, killing two thirds of the continent's population. Oh, here's an interesting fact. I didn't know. The toothbrush was invented in prison. In 1770, London prisoner William Addis attached some bristles to a bone and invented the toothbrush. When released, he started a toothbrush business that was immediately immediately successful. That's interesting. Did not know that. Oh, I love my... Sorry, my lips are dry, y'all. Well, I'm gone. <laughs> Imagine being brand new to my page and that's what you walked into, like that conversation. <laughs> uh, Miss Tracy, we just started. Yeah, we just started. We didn't even do white light yet. We're going to do one more of these before we do white light. Okay. Would you rather bite into a piece of chocolate and find it filled with maggots or filled with pus? Oh, my God. So... Would you want... <laughs> oh, my gosh. You can't pass, TLC Phoenix. <laughs> oh, yeah. Would you rather bite into a piece of chocolate and find it filled with maggots or filled with pus? <laughs> maggots are... You know, I would... Honestly, I would probably... Even though I would throw up and cry and have PTSD, I would probably do the maggots. I mean, they are protein, right? If I was on Naked and Afraid, I would totally do it. Does anybody watch Naked and Afraid? <laughs> uh. Oh my god, the, the, even the next one is gnarly. Since 1995, there's been a 400% increase in the number of surgeons worldwide who clean wounds with maggots. Wow. 400% increase since 1995. Uh, chocolate has been around since the Mayans had their heyday in South America. They call it the food of the gods. The Spanish took it back to Europe. At one point, there were so many chocolate houses in England that they threatened the existence of the traditional English pub. Until the late 1800s, chocolate was consumed as a drink, and that was only for wealthy males. It was considered unhealthy for women and children. 
<laughs> That's funny. Oh my gosh. All right, let's do one more. Let's just do one more. Okay. For the breeding wounds, yeah, I have heard that, but they are ugly little buggers. I need like a bookmark so that we can uh, leave off of where we came up. Or whatever I'm trying to say. Here, let me use this as a bookmark. It is fun, right? I figure on the days that, like I'm too tired, I don't feel well enough. We can go live with this book. I mean, it's a big book. And each each page has one on it. Um Okay, hold on. All right. Here's here's the next one and then we're going to do white light. Y'all make sure uh we're sharing live, tapping the screen. I'm not going to be live late tonight because uh Neliana's birthday is tomorrow and I need to make treats for her class and decorate the house tonight and whatnot. Where do the doctors keep them after? Like, oh, let me just grab my mason jar of maggot. Oh, gross. Never. They'll take a fire hose to my wound before they put a maggot in it. Okay, the next one, the last one for the night. Well, maybe not for the night, but the last one before white light. Would you rather walk around all day with a dead mouse in your butt or a dead frog in your mouth? Oh, my gosh. Would you rather walk around all day with a dead mouse in your butt or a dead frog in your mouth? <laughs> Maddie, you can't say neither. <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're gross. So you can come back in a few minutes once we start what you came here for. <laughs> forfeit my gosh i didn't realize these were gonna be that gnarly like this gnarly i just bought the book based on the cover um i didn't read any of the things inside of it maybe i should have a mouse since you can't taste you can't taste do you have do you have the you know what right now two of your biggest fears jennifer said we already had maggots and rat tail. Give me, what'd you say? Give me the what? Give me the frog. <laughs> You're not invisible. I can see you, Scopal. <laughs> Too funny. All right, you guys. Let's put a little uh, keychain bookmark in. So yeah, this book is Zab Mom. Wait, Zab Mondo. Not to be confused with Brad Mondo. So, yeah. That'll be fun, right? Okay, I'm going to put it over here. Okay, so let's do our white light. Everybody take a deep breath in. Envision a waterfall of 100% pure white light coming over you and through you. We use this white light as our protection. We wish to speak to spirits made of 100% pure white light and no negative energy is allowed in our space. We come from a place of love and light and wish to receive messages from earthbound spirit who need help having their messages received and need help crossing into the light. I feel like it's been it's been so long so I feel I feel like flip all the breakers Okay. Yeah, 
eyes are itchy. Alrighty. So I do already have the balls on behind me. Um, and hi, Susan. And the teddy bear is on as well. So we're going to start um, with ghost tube. It's different doing it for my iPad. If there's any spirits here with me, why are you doing that? There's nothing over here. Hold on, y'all. Is it my Apple Pencil? No. That's weird. I don't know why I was doing that. Um. If there's any spirits here with me, my name is Maria, and I come from a place of love and light. I wish to speak to spirits made of only 100% pure white light. If you have any messages you would like me to hear, we can communicate in a few different ways. You can talk into this device with the blinking lights here with the green bar. You can also um, make... Use your energy to make these balls light up. Or, you, oh, God, the knee. Or you can touch this little teddy bear right on his nose and on his heart where those stickers are. And he'll light up, and that will let me know that you're here. Is there anyone who wants to speak with me? These are pretty good right there. You can see all three. Um, so anyway, Naliana turns six tomorrow. So I'm really excited. She's really excited. She's going to be on the news in the morning. Cutie. She'll be on, uh, our local news station, Fox 6, Luku 6. So. Oh my God, I have to remember to record it. So, and she doesn't know that she's going to be on the news, so she's going to be really excited to, uh, like, see herself on the news. <laughs> Cutie. Cutie but Um, and then it just, um, it just so happens that, um, th like, they're having a little Halloween-type party tomorrow. Krista, you would think they would be lining up to cross over. They do, but my, um guides filter them out based on what I can handle if that makes sense did I say that right ish kind of I know she's <laughs> she's six and wears a 3t <laughs> that girl <laughs> oh, she is so tiny yeah Jenna's bouncer speaking of somebody was trying to and I have to check. I didn't, I couldn't see. Um, I didn't get a chance to rewatch the videos I was making, but um, I was driving to uh, my back doctor this morning, and the back. Okay, so I have a minivan, so you can control like the front air, and like each side can like, you know, the driver can have a different air temperature, the end level, the passenger can, and, and the rear can. And so the rear kept going up by itself. So I would turn it back down. I'm like, what the hell is that? And then it kept happening. And then I was finally like, I turn it down. 
and I said, or no, so I left it stay up. And I said, is there somebody who wants to talk to me? If there is, turn the air back down. And like, I was literally like talking to somebody doing yes, no with like the, the fan pressure. Does that make sense? Um, so I said, you know, can you, if you want to talk to me, turn the, turn the, um, air back down. So turn the air back down. And I said, do you, or I said, have you crossed over already? And, um, they, you know, turn the air back on for yes. And I know it was, it was so, and then as soon as I start recording, they, they stopped. Of course. I think I got it one time. <coughs> I think I got the, um, the, because on my, so like on the, I have screen of buttons, you know, in the, um, minivan, it will tell you which side is being, which side is being, um, turned on or off or upper or lower. And, uh, so I was trying to record that screen, you know, that little tiny screen. Um, what are my kids going to be for Halloween? Um, Nellie and Abby are both going to be witches. Michael is a police officer and, um, Lincoln is going to be a transformer. He saw his costume and went, <gasps> he's so cute. Um, my new bracelets in no particular order. Um, I just got amethyst, like regular amethyst, because it's just good for everything. And, um, oh my gosh, I can't remember what they are now. Hold on. Gotta bust out my Elvis. Uh huh, uh huh. Isn't he cute? But this is where my, uh, my cards are. Um, oh, oh yeah, Amy, Amy. Okay. So yesterday from the shop, I got Celestine. Okay. Isn't she pretty? And I was really excited for her. Cause like I read the card and I was like, what? Okay. Which one is it? Of course, that's probably the card I don't have on me. It is. Um, Anyway, it helps you speak to angels and I really don't have that card on me. That's crazy, but it, it helps with like the spiritual, um, the bridge. I got a tourmaline. Oh wait, let me show you the peacock ore. I got a peacock ore just because you guys know I love peacock. Okay. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so this is peacock ore. This is a stone of happiness and joy. Um, it, it turns you into it, it will turn you in a positive direction, stimulates adrenaline, gains power in the solar plexus, attracts money, and reclaims lost property. You guys want to hear something funny? Um I bought that stone yesterday, right? And I mean, it could have just been a coincidence, but so I bought that stone. It's, you know, attracts money and reclaims lost property. And, um, the taxes, like the back due refund that me and Randy have been waiting on for literally like a year and a half came today. <laughs> so don't tell me crystals don't work. Okay. So then I got my amethyst which is spiritual, spiritual protection, cleanses negative attachments, purification, creates a light shield around the body, and it protects against attacks. I got Indigo Gabbro, which is this smaller, dark, almost black looking one. Okay. Um, it's a stone of spiritual evolution. You can recall previous lives, enhances clairvoyance and prophetic vision. Accelerate learning and enhances the ability to speak to spirit. Um, what if there is some lost property that you don't want to claim? Like, <laughs> for like for instance, an ex-husband. Oh, that's funny. 
Um, then the picture Jasper, and that is this uh, tan looking one. Um, it keeps the immune system healthy, alleviates skin disorders, helpful for lung disorders and asthma, brings tranquility and wholeness, and balances yin and yang. And then I got a tourmaline, which is in my pile of stones somewhere. But that reduces anxiety and stress, keeps you grounded, encourages loving compassion, provides deep sense of energetic security, and a physical bridge to the spiritual world. So, that is what I got. I know some of these were like, what? Um... I got, this is from the last time, but I have Zebra Jasper, which is actually really cool looking. Let me find it. So this is my Zebra Jasper right here. Um, and Zebra Jasper is considered a grounding stone. It keeps one centered with the earth during high spiritual works. Zebra Jasper is said to be important to the first and fourth chakras. It helps with depression and anxiety. Jasper motivates us to move out of apathy into action. It helps us avoid overthinking and overanalyzing and encourages us to just enjoy the now. Oh, you got a Shanghai bracelet. Yay. Um, and then I got just a tumbled clear quartz just because I broke mine. So clear quartz is amazing for everything. Um, clear quartz is a master healer and works to align and balance all the chakras. Clear quartz contains the vibrations of the entire rainbow spectrum. It stimulates the immune system and is the most powerful energy amplifier of the entire crystal kingdom. Then goldstone, which is that bracelet that I was talking about last week. It's actually a glass bead, but it does have copper in it. Um, goldstone is actually not gold, nor is, is it a stone. It is man-made glass with copper. Legend has it that goldstone was first made by a group of Italian monks known for their glasswork. One day, while preparing to make glass, one of the monks accidentally dropped copper into the vat as it was being prepared. The result turned out to be this most beautiful man-made stone known as goldstone. While goldstone is not a natural stone, the copper is said to have a positive effect on arthritis. And you guys will, I don't know if you guys remember, but last week... I was wearing my gold stone on this wrist because of my tennis elbow and like that elbow feels good again. So I switched it to this elbow this week to see if we can get the same results. Um, <clears throat> Jim Stud, there is a link in my bio where you can um, also look up and get crystals. Then we got Rainbow Moonstone. Um, okay, so this is the Rainbow Moonstone. So the Rainbow Moonstone is said to house a spiritual essence that carries the vibration of light and healing. Rainbow Moonstone can connect you to the unseen, activate your intuitive ability, and assist you with seeing symbols. Moonstone is an ancient and powerful stone with a rich history of bringing passion to lovers. The Moonstone is associated with the moon, with the stone of the goddess Diana. Some other properties of Moonstone are bringing good fortune and assisting in fortune telling. And then pyrite. So I've, this is my like original piece of pyrite. You guys will probably know it as fool's gold, but this is the piece. This is, I actually keep this one in my car, but I took it out of my car last night. Oh, I'm sorry. You guys didn't see it. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. So that one is the Rainbow Moonstone. And then, so I've had this piece for a while. I keep this piece in my car. Um, Where? In my car, in the um, passenger, like in the center console. But this is the new piece of, it's more of a tumbled pyrite. So you guys probably know it as Fool's Gold. I didn't know Fool's Gold was had such cool things. Me and Jed used to um, dig for Fool's Gold when we were growing up. I do, Karina. I'm sorry. It's because it's because of the iPad situation. Okay. So this is the pyrite. 
This is a new piece of pyrite I got. Um, known as Fool's Gold, pyrite comes from the Greek for fire stone because it was believed that pyrite, a sparkling stone, held fire in its core. Pyrite is an excellent energy shield, blocking out negative energy and pollutants at all levels, preventing energy leaks from the physical body and aura, and deflecting harm. Pyrite is very fast-acting and helpful for getting to the root of karmic and psychosomatic disease. Um, I originally kept it in my car because, um, just because it reminded me of Jed, but I liked that, um, it's good for deflecting harm, and, um, I am always, ever since our last car accident, I hate driving. I, I don't really drive very often, honestly. Um, so I put, I keep the pyrite in the car for, to deflect harm. Which one is my favorite? Oh, that's really hard because they all, um, yeah, it's only said where. That's it. That's all we've gotten so far. Um, they all do different things. Like for my physical health, I like the ones like amethyst, uh, the tourmaline because I have so many autoimmune issues. Um, I'm really excited to see what Celestine does for us. Um, I actually wonder if I have too many crystals right here. I bet it is. Like I have my Shungai Angel. I got my Smoky Quartz. I got I got Black Obsidian right here. So I'm going to. You guys don't mind me. I'm going to put the pie right back in my bra so I remember to take it upstairs. I don't have any pockets. I'm going to move some of my crystals away. See if we can get a spirit to speak with us. I need a bigger skull. He doesn't hold on mine anymore. Anymore. I need a bigger bowl. I need to build some sort of altar. Oh, I got tiger's eye last week, too. Did I tell you guys about... My tiger's eye. Uh, tiger's eye. I'm an emotional balancer. I balance your connection to your personal power and strengthen your resolve. In addition, I improve your insight. Rest in peace. Do you want to rest in peace? Have you crossed over? Um, I aid in, impri in improving night vision. I don't really know what that's about. Um, the rainbow. Um, I forgot which one that was called again. Too. Ah, no, I'm dropping my stones. To a spirit that's here with us, do you want to try and make one of... Oh, gosh. My stones are falling. I have these balls back here that you can... There's three of them. There's one here and there's one up there. Do you want to try? Who is he? Where? How many spirits are here right now? Are you talking about my shirt? This is a memorial for, um, a little boy named Justin. That's who's on my shirt, if that's what you're talking about. Who are you? Can you try and make one of the balls behind me light up? Yeah. 
You heard breathing into the mic. So the spirit that's here with me, if you want to continue to communicate with me in this device that you spoke into, make one of the balls light up. Otherwise, I'm going to switch. I'm going to say goodbye to this app. After rest in peace was who is he? Oh, Rose Reaper said she heard it. Oh, yeah, that's the puppy that died in the fire with him. My dog is barking. Oh, no, I don't have a fan on. Hmm. No, I'm not. I don't know. I'm not hearing anything on this end. Are you breathing into my phone? Hi, Coquette. Or is it Coquie? Coquit? Really? I What was what noise? Y'all are creeping me out. Um, my mom is walking up in the kitchen. I mean, yeah, like in the living room kitchen area. It's like a shuffle. Hello from Wisconsin to France. That's exciting. Yeah, someone is walking around now. Hmm. Yeah, someone's coming down here now. Bobby, do you guys have, um, do you have me on? What's that? Do you guys have me on? Pe the moment, her phone just went to 1%. Oh, people are hearing, like, breathing into the phone. Breathing into the phone? Yeah. I just want to know if you're hearing it. On which one? Both of them, Ghost and Glam and Upkept Kisses. Okay. If you were breathing into my phone, can you do it again? Allie, what's happening at the Riverside? I know, I don't know very much French either, Karita. Huh. Well, to the spirit that's here with us, I am going to say goodbye to this app. Oh, the echo is Bobby's phone that you'll hear in the background.
All right, guys, we're going to try and go right into Necrophonic just because uh, my iPad is charging. So, um, let's see, you know, maybe somebody wants to talk to us in Necrophonic. Hmm, I don't know that one. Whoa, bitch. <sighs> Fucking scared me. That was, I don't know, my Alexa or something. Alexa, cancel. Don't listen to me. <laughs> I don't even know what I was trying to do now. <laughs> okay. What? Oh, yeah. My gosh. Oh, yeah. Necrophonic. Okay. Oh, I need to hit the Bluetooth button. I damn near wonder if I should go smoke before we do this one. I mean, go sage before we do this one. Just because, um... I probably... At once we do right, country queen, we're not hunting our, our ghosts. Uh. Um, K Bolton, how do you find a good Reiki master near you? Um you can, yeah, like Yelp, Google, read the reviews. I want to set up a mass healing with um, Vanessa Nicole. Okay, so we're going to go Sage. I'm going to turn Ghost 2 back on. And we're going to link it. I know she's doing one soon, Mermaid, but she um, was going to, her and I were going to do a, a co-live together. Oh, yeah, we could bring the book. Oh. Um, I can't bring the book because it's raining and, and I'm scared that I'm not going to make it up the stairs. But yeah, let's link it. Um, oh, thank you for the swan, Beatrice. Thank you. Okay, so let me get this one out of here. Kisses. So sorry, I turned you off. Okay, add host. Why can I... I can't see myself on here. Here, I'll do it this way. One house has lost connection. One house has lost connection. Oh, just kidding. Oh, just kidding. Ah. Oh, so okay. Put Oh, gosh. All right. Oh, you bitches. <laughs> no, I might do that afterwards. If you're going outside, you cannot go out there. I'm still about five steps away. Yeah, you guys can go in it, put the lid back on it, I'll go in it once you guys pass out, so I don't gotta worry about shit. Okay. <sighs> right. Okay. 
Is it raining again? No. Okay. Oops, sorry guys. Hold on. Smells like fresh rain. I'm glad I put my stones out yesterday because I can't see the moon today. <sighs> it poured all day. Yeah, we had a really good lightning storm during like dinner time. Lincoln was just amazed by it. He got scared by the thunder, but he loved watching the lightning. So I was looking all over for those um, Bud Light Fall, like the Fall Flannel um, package drinks. I hyped myself up. They were actually not very good. There was one flavor that was like, all right. The, um, it's like pumpkin spice flavor. Apple crisp, maple pear, and marshmallow. The maple pear was actually pretty good. I didn't mind the maple pear. And then, yes, ghost tube is still on. And then my favorite, I think, was the marshmallow and the pumpkin spice, though. But I was really excited for maple pear. But I'm not, like, a big... I'm not a big beer drinker, so... If it was, like, just those flavors and, like, a not beer aftertaste, they would be really good. But that beer aftertaste kind of lost it for me. Yeah, that toasted marshmallow was good, though. Apple crisp wasn't bad, but to me, there's other better crisp apple flavors out there. So, I didn't like it as much. Yeah, the maple pear was good. It was, I couldn't really taste the pear as much, but the maple of it was actually pretty good. A cat person head. What is that behind there? I know, I see what you're talking about, but I don't know what that is in there. Probably one of my ghost hunting suitcases. Yeah, they were really hard to find. Be crazy. I spent like last week. I was like looking for them here and there, and then yesterday I just went Hello. on like an hour hunt to a couple different stores until I found it. Yeah, right. <laughs> Randy did not like them. He's like, he was having the the maple pear, and he's like, it tastes like I'm chewing on flannel. <laughs> It said, hello? Hello? I just turned up my volume at the same time. That's funny. What's your name? Turn my volume all the way up so I can hear it. Can you make one of the lights go off? Leave it. Ooh. What do you want to leave? Who's there with you? Can you make one of the... They said leave it right after I said it, but can you make it light up? You think somebody's telling them to stop? Try and make one of those balls light up. Can you touch the teddy bear? Boop him on the nose and he'll make a noise. Can you tell me your name? I 
I know, right? They're gonna be like, listen, Linda. I wasn't in here if I can hear any blowing. Yeah. Can you move that chair? Push. Can you push the chair? It's like you move the chair, it said push. Who are you? Ax. My name is Maria. I come from a place of love and light. And I'm here to receive your messages and help you cross over. Did an axe have something to do with your death? Can you push the teddy bear on his nose? Did you hear that? I'll check to see if it said ask or ax when we go down there. I can bring up the um What was that? There's a thud, like, right at my desk. I don't know. I don't know. No, I heard like a like a sound like on my desk, God. Can you make one of the balls in the cauldron light up on the shelf? That might be our phones too close, maybe. Because I don't hear that on my phone. Yeah. Were you playing with my stones? I didn't hear me coming down the stairs here.
How? How? I'll, if you want to make these light up, all you have to do is you put your energy near them. There's three of them here. Do you want to try and make one light up for me? Oh, shoot. Yeah, I, I disconnected it. Otherwise, I was going to be all reverb. Hi, Tim Allen Smith. Who was, who's talking? Hi. Thank you so much. Can you tell me your name? Wow. Those balls are fun, aren't they? It was X, A-X-E. Wow. You think that's fun? You should try uh, touching that teddy bear right next to it. Charles. Hi, Charles. Charles, do you want to try touching that teddy bear? Wow. Charles, were you the one who said X? To make it not cloudy, you're going to use a clarifier, but you can't use it while you're in it. Charles, do you want to try touching that teddy bear? Touch that orange sticker. And he'll light up too. Um, the shelf is probably four feet off the ground. Nine times, wow. Charles, how old are you? Yeah, Charles is the first word since we got back down here. Yeah, Amanda Green, this this is an older phone over here. This is an iPhone 6. Right here, this is an iPhone 13. That beeping was the um, magnetic reader on the iPad. <coughs> Charles, I'm going to use these... Um, I'm going to use these sticks in my hand. I'm gonna, you can cross them for yes. Keep them still or push them apart for no. Do you understand how to use these rods? Do you want to make the ball light up for yes answers instead?
Is Charles still here? Okay. Whatever spirits are here with me, we're going to use a... We're going to say goodbye to this app. We're going to use a different app where you can actually um, speak into the device. And we'll hear your voice and your words. Nick. Hold on, it's not connected to Bluetooth. Come on. Okay, so now. Okay, so if you guys are new here, the first thing you're gonna do is share the live. The next thing you're gonna do, um, make sure you are tapping the screen. Make sure you're following me. Um, if you have air, uh, earphone, headphones, whatever they're called, put them in. It's sometimes easier to hear. Thank you so much for the finger hearts melody. Um, so it'll be easier to hear um, some of the lower voices or the whispers when you put those in. Um, as you guys start hearing words, please put them, um, in the chat box. Make sure that any conversations that we're having are relevant to, um, the spirit that we are connecting with. Sometimes it gets a little bit cloudy. Thank you, Pamela, for the music. Thank you. Ooh, and the goggles. Um, if you guys are gifted, I ask that you please, um... Make sure that we are connecting with the same spirit because um, more than one spirit is most likely going to come through. And I don't want to lose my train of thought or um, my connection with that person. Oh, I'm your favorite TikTok person. Thank you. Um, and then uh, I also ask that you be 18 and up, so on and so forth. I set my spirit guides, bring forward any earthbound spirits, any spirits who need help crossing into the light, any spirits who need their messages received. We wish to speak to spirits made of only 100% pure white light and no negative energies allowed in our space. We thank our spirit guides, loved ones, and ancestors in advance for keeping our energy and our space clean and clear. Ooh, oh, what is that? Galaxy, thank you. I've never seen that one. Um, so, thank you guys for the gifts. Oh my goodness, thank you. Um, let's, uh... Dang. Made me jump. That galaxy was awesome, right? <laughs> oh, that was awesome. To a spirit that's here with us. Oh, I'm dead. I know that was so loud. The spirits that are here with me, my name is Maria, and I come from a place of love and light. There's a few different ways you can communicate with me. You can talk to me through this device on my phone. You can... You can make these bubbles light up. There's three of them here. There's one up there. And then... You can touch that teddy bear in those orange stickers. Uh, 
Oh, thank you for that dang lights. Is Charles still here? Who said hello? What's the name of the spirit who said hello? The spirits who are here, you have the weird noise. You have passed away, but I can help you cross into the light if you need help. I'm gonna try putting the reverb on for a little bit just so I can hear clearly. My head hurts. Who is this? Listen. Who would like help to cross into the light? Can you tell me your name? There's a spirit named Brock here. Yeah. I want to try and speak with Brock. Asking. Asking. Brock, I'm holding these sticks in my hand. You can use. You can use your energy to cross the rods. It's going to be easier if you use the ends to cross them. Brock, you can cross them for yes to keep them still or push them apart for no. Thank you. Can you straighten them back out? Thank you. Brock, are you the one who said help? Only Brock can use the rods right now. I want to speak to Brock and just Brock. Dope. Dope. Oh. Brock, have you crossed into the light? What? Rock, how did you pass away? Uh, 
Brock, did something happen to the back of your neck? What happened? Did he break his neck? Brock, did you break your neck? You did. What? How did you break your neck? Vehicle? A wreck? Brock, you were you in a car accident? Dead. Yeah, I'm dead. Okay. No. Oh. Uh. Brack, were you the only one in the car? Oh, How many people uh, were in the car with you? Four. Four? Did you say four? Four, four singers? Brock, have you crossed into the light? <laughs> Would you like help crossing into the light? Okay. Stop. Brock, do you have anything you want to tell us before we cross you into the light? Brock, is there anything you want to tell us before you cross into the light? Brock, when you first passed away, did you see the bright white light? You did, okay. Brock, we're going to envision that same white light, and we're going to cross into it. I, I know your death was sudden and unexpected, but we're going to do this together. All right, Brock, I need you to envision the bright white light. The brightest light you can, 100% pure white light. And on the other side of that light, you're going to be able to rest easily. You're not going to have to live with this pain. And your loved ones are waiting for you. Can you, do you see that light? Can you walk into that light for us? Okay. 
Brought Cross into the light. Did Brock cross into the light? Good job, Brock. I hope you rest peacefully. Is that was that you, Brock? Is that a different spirit who made it light up? Can you, oh, okay. Tell me your name. Are you a male spirit? <laughs> Are you a female spirit? <laughs> What's it? Who made the ball light up? <laughs> Cody? Cody, did you? Okay. Yes. Hi, Cody. Ooh, you gave me goosebumps. <laughs> we can just talk with that. Cody, do you remember how you passed away? Cody, can you try and touch that teddy bear for me right there? Touch that teddy bear. Touch him on the nose. If you touch that teddy bear, he will also light up. I am. Can you press, can you try and touch that bear a little bit harder? Touch him as hard as you can. Man, that bear, it takes a lot of pressure. I can't. It's okay. Thank you so much for trying. What? Do you like making the ball light up, though? <laughs> Cody, I'm going to use these sticks. Cody, how did you pass away? Sick with. I have a headache. I'm very nauseous. Plague. straight in front of me thank you uh, cody did you say play? 
Cody, did you have cancer? <laughs> Cody, you can release a little bit. I got it. What kind, what kind of cancer? Did you have chemo? Yeah, I swear. Okay. Can I have just Cody talking? Cody, did you have testicular cancer? What's stopping you from crossing over? Cody, did you have a family? Can you straighten the rods back out? Sure. Remember to keep tapping the screen. Hi, Jed. Cody, would you like help crossing over? Okay. I heard that, Jen. All right, Cody. Cody, would you consider yourself young? Okay. I think that's what's stopping him. I feel like he's like my age. Cody, would you consider your 30s? Together we're going to envision a water... I'm sorry. Together we're going to envision... 100% pure white light. And when you walk into that light, 
that. You're still going to be able to show your family you know. all of your love. You're just going to be able to do it while you're resting peacefully. Oh. And you're going to be able to let go of the sickness. Oh. Can you straighten my rod back out? Touch my neck. Yeah, okay. Sure. She helps me. Just let Did Cody cross into the light? Yep. He did. Okay. Good job, Cody. Oh. The spirits who are still here. I see him. To the spirits that are still here, you can step forward with my spirit guides and cross into the light. I am going to close out this app. Goodbye. Okay. Um, yeah, there, there was, I don't feel well from him. So, yeah, and then I heard say, I heard danger, and I'm like, oof. A bitch can take a hint. Um, so anyway, guys, I, that's where we're going to end for the night. Oof, I need some rubbing alcohol. You don't want me to be done. Um, I'm going to ask my spirit guys to help clear the room. We're going to, I need to close out right away. Light me a little bit of sage here. I mean, nobody felt... You know, like, you know, I just, there's, there's a lot, there's a lot of them now. Okay, let's do some white light real quick. Any spirits that are still here, please cross into the light with my spirit guides. On the other side of that light, your loved ones are waiting for you. You're going to be able to rest peacefully and let go of any earthly burdens and pain that you have. All right, let's do some white light and uh, close out. Everyone take a deep breath. Envision a waterfall of 100% pure white light coming over you and through you. 
Let that light enter your heart. We thank the spirits who came forward today to speak with us. We feel honored that we were able to help those that we were able to cross into the light. If there are still spirits here, please use my spirit guides to cross into the light so that you can rest and be at peace. So, ooh, hi, shield maiden. Um, so, all right, you guys, that is, uh, we're going to end it. I should be live tomorrow, you guys. If, um, I wouldn't be surprised if I'm late because tomorrow is Nellie's birthday. So, um, we're going to, um, you know, birthday dinner, birthday cake, a couple of, uh, presents or whatever so um my little girl happy birthday to her so um i'm gonna see what she wants to do she's probably gonna say i want to make a tiktok so i'm sure we'll be seeing some uh some nelly on the tiktoks tomorrow after school so um anyway thank you guys and uh yes i will absolutely wish her a happy birthday um yeah, and we'll be making some TikToks tomorrow, I'm sure, because that's all she wants to do. TikTok, TikTok, dance, dance, dance. <laughs> Thank you guys for all of the gifts and the shares and the likes and the love. And um, I will try and post on Discord tomorrow with um, how my day is looking um, as far as what time I'll be live. Of course, we're shooting for 9 p.m. I'm sure it's going to be at least 9.30, okay? So just be aware it's going to be at least 9.30 tomorrow. And... Um, if anything changes other than that, I will let y'all know, okay? So, happy birthday. Thank you for coming and being spooky with me. And I'm going to go take some Tums because I don't feel good after him. I love you guys. Mwah, 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 mwah.